My sister and I were just student how to pronounce the word arboretum or arboretum. So I, I've been calling it arboretum the whole time. My sister checked Webster dictionary and she's considering Webster the authority. No, I'm not. And according to Webster, it's pronounced arboretum as opposed to ratum, like R A Y versus R E E. So we asked someone else and she was saying that she pronounces it the way I do, arboretum. But she also said that technically it's probably pronounced arboretum. Maybe there's someone else out there that calls it arboretum, but it sounds very British. The word just sounds, it just sounds like it has British etymological origins, like arboretum or arboretum. I'm going to the Holden Arboretum. What's about you? If Webster calls it that, Webster must be right. Webster also called Chagrin Chagrin. I just noticed there's a frog, so it is a tadpole. It's a maternal frog. Dude, can you film it? Mother looking at the tadpole? It's crazy, dude, where? Right here. <gasps> Shit! Where's the tadpole at? Oh my gosh, there's so many! One moth found during the day in patches of monarda and phlox is the hummingbird clearwing. Its hovering behavior while feeding resembles that of a hummingbird. No, it doesn't matter how you fly. Okay, a moth is a moth. It will never, never resemble a hummingbird. <gasps> this is so pretty, I'm a hummingbird. It's like saying that a moth is like a ballerina. A moth is a moth. Blech! Okay, so this is a frog and there's all these tadpoles in there. See those little tadpoles? I cannot contain my excitement. And then this mama frog is watching over the baby tadpoles. How to tell butterflies and moths apart. Only a small percentage of these are pests and some moths such as the luna moth are quite beautiful. I don't want to know. But either way, I don't care if moths can be beautiful like the luna moth. They gross me out. They do. I have allergies and just seeing them flying around, fluttering around makes me think think of like sneezing already even the thought of a moth really grosses me out and my poor sweaters when i see sweaters with holes holy moly i do not like moths and i don't like them messing up my wardrobe either oh gosh almost got attacked by a huge bee a big one there. <laughs> yeah it was like a, what is that a hornet Jeez. they call it a bumblebee big, a bumblebee yeah, the real oh big one. gosh yeah. well you are more brighter than the flowers here. I think they're confusing me for <laughs> yeah, yeah. the honeycomb. There you go. <laughs> Take, care. Take care. Hurry, hurry! We gotta go, we gotta go! Oh, there's no bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> so, Mama Frog is gonna be So my brother said, how unlucky, a fly just flew into my face. And I said, poor fly is probably telling his sister the same thing. Damn, what bad luck, I just flew into some dude's freaking face. He doesn't get it. Do you get it? I hope so. The body of a moth is broad. So they're basically saying that moths are fat and butterflies are slender, okay? Oh, it's like the dog understands you. <laughs> We're still Hi. learning. Are you spaniel? Springer Spaniel. Oh, that's super cute. Thank you. Come on. Good Which way is the canopy walk? Hurry, hurry. Hurry, hurry. Which way? <laughs> 